Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Century United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We have been uh, spending this week talking about the who and why questions of our lives. That is, who are we? Who are we not? And why do we exist? What is the why of who we are in the world today? And so I wanted to read the scripture one more time. It comes from Ephesians, the third chapter. Paul is writing from, uh, is writing from uh, a, jail, a jail cell in Ephesus in, uh, uh, in Greece. And so we want to uh, have, this, uh, have uh, this conversation once more as he is writing this to, um, his, uh, uh, to those who were um, in connection to ministry with him. So he says, this is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me for you and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. As I wrote above in a few words, a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind as it has now been revealed to his apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body uh, who and shares of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring the riches of bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ, and to make everyone see that see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things. So that you that excuse me that through the church the wisdom of God in its riches rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was the in accordance with the eternal purposes that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. May God add a blessing and reading of that holy word. So we've uh, looked at a couple responses to the question of uh, who we are and why we are and why we are followers of Christ. First, Paul believed that he was a follower of Christ because he was called by God. And we talked a little bit about his, his uh, extraordinary call, uh, the lightning strike, the falling to the ground, the temporary blindness. And then he also said that he believed he was a follower because he believed that there was meaning behind the circumstances of his life. I think there's two other answers that he would come up and we just read them in here. First of all, that he believed, Paul believed in God's plan for the world. He believed in the redemption of the world through Christ Jesus. That was once a mystery, and now that mystery is shared. That mystery is opened up to Gentiles, to all people, not just to those who are of the Jewish faith. So Paul is really uh, opening up and being very inclusive of, of all people, allowing them to also have access uh, to the grace of God through Jesus Christ and the work of the Holy Spirit. So, so, so Paul really believed in God's plan for the world. And then finally, he was, uh, Paul would say that he was a follower of Christ because he had been called to be a servant. Now, there's been lots of uh, talk about servanthood and how there is servant leadership that we have to serve as an example to others in order to make a difference in the world. And, uh, it was a great book back in the, oh goodness, probably all the way back to the uh, 80s called Servant Leadership. Um, and it was just, it's just a great book to say, look, you know, if you're going to be a, a leader of people, you've, you've got to be a servant of all. And certainly that would have been in accordance with how Jesus lived his life as well. Remember how he said, the least of these uh, will be the greatest and the greatest will be brought down low. So anyway, uh, I just want you to, to know that uh, Paul had many answers and they may be connected to, to how we would answer these questions, that, that we are called, that we 
uh, believe in the circumstances of our lives and how they, how those circumstances have shaped uh, our opportunities and abilities for ministry and how we are called to share in God's plan for the world as well as be a servant in the world. So those are the answers that may be helpful to you as we come into this new year, just five days into it now, and how we can live more fully uh, for God's purposes in the world and to live more fully into our true identity uh, as, as, uh, as people, that, that we can reach our best and greatest potential uh, that is God-given and will make a difference in our lives if we can live up to those, uh, to that potential. Anyway, I hope you had a great uh, week, uh, first week of uh, 2024. I would certainly want to invite you to come and worship with us. Uh, we are here at uh, uh, 3882 Highland Road. We worship at 1030 on Sunday mornings. Hope you would worship with us or join us online at live.waterfordcumc.org. Look forward to seeing you and God bless you. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for this week of speaking about who we are and why we are. And may these answers of Paul help guide our answers in terms of how we live for the circumstances that shape our ministry, uh, shape our lives, uh, to look at the opportunity to serve the world, to trust in your plan for the world, and to move forward as people who are called uh, by you to, uh, to, to be uh, in connection with the needs of the world. May it ever be so. Uh, through the name of Christ and by the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, friend. God bless you.